Okay, hi everybody. Again, I'm Teresa. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here and be able to share a little bit of what we've been doing here in Miami. Uh, when I started working in the nutrition and food service last year, uh, I am the quality and operation manager and I started dealing with the uh, numerous uh, monitors and surveys that we had to deal with in the uh, quality side, the HACCP side, and clinical side. Um, I got a little bit overwhelmed because uh, it was taking me more than a week to be able to get all the information together to make any analysis at the end of any given month. And on top of that, I was uh, seeing that the compliance was very low. When you see this number uh, that I, I was seeing 32% uh, of uh, compliance at that moment, uh, I wanna just uh, clarify that the critical monitors uh, were being followed uh, almost 100%, but the numbers of surveys that we had were so big that some of them were really with low compliance and they were pushing the, the percentage down. So uh, we used the rounds plus uh, to automate those surveys. And uh, at the end of the Yellow Belt project that I led, able to reduce the, the time for analysis from seven. Uh, in reality, I, I, I reduced to one day, uh, but the objective of the, the, the project was to reduce to two days, the analysis, and the compliance went up to 75%, although the objective of the project was to reach 55%. Uh, people say, why do you put a number so low, like 55% as your objective? And the reason why that was I was so overwhelmed and I thought it was such a big thing that I, I never saw uh, the 75% coming at the end of the first three months of the project. So 